Hi, I am so excited for this video because this is a video that I think everybody needs right now and one that you guys often ask for. I am gonna go over what I feel are the most crucial pieces that anybody should have in their wardrobe. Okay, so we're obviously not in my apartment. I wish it was. One of my favorite brands called Another Tomorrow has let me use their amazing space and also some pieces to just illustrate what I think are the most crucial pieces to have in any wardrobe. Hi. I'm Alison Bornstein and I'm a stylist. I believe that fashion can be used as a wellness tool. Really quickly before we begin, I just want to talk about Another Tomorrow. Another Tomorrow is one of my go-to brands, not only because they have really chic, incredible pieces, but also because they really push the boundaries of what responsibly and ethically sourced materials can achieve. I always say that fashion is wellness and you know, getting dressed and fashion is such an important and amazing part of our self-expression. However, the way that we create and consume clothing really doesn't like match up to our values, I feel like, as a society. And it's kind of like not what we had in mind for the future. So Another Tomorrow really strives to make clothing that is sustainable and made in an ethical way, but also to create pieces that are timeless and pieces that you can have forever so you don't have to buy something new every season. And I feel like that's a big part of sustainability and that's what I often talk about a lot too. You buy something once, you buy something that is amazing and timeless and well-made, you don't have to buy it a million times. Okay, can I say okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's begin. So I'm going to just first go over all of the kind of a checklist of the things that I think are essential for any wardrobe. This is for any body type, any age, like any climate. This is just like what I think are foundational pieces for an amazing timeless wardrobe. So first I'm just going to go over them all. Number one, denim, obviously. You know I use denim in all my videos. And number two, a turtleneck. Number three, obviously a blazer. I feel like everybody needs a nice a classic soft tee, a shirt, and I'm gonna talk about a few different kinds of shirts, you know, whether you're into something a little bit more menswear inspired or, you know, something a little more flowy. An amazing knit. Oh, a pair of trousers. I mean, they do not wrinkle at all. They almost feel like, well, I mean, I'll talk about this when I talk about the trouser, but I just got too excited, but they almost feel like they look like a really like amazing tailored trouser, which they are, but they, when they're on, they feel a bit like almost like a sweatpant or something. They're so comfortable. And then of course, an overcoat. Let's just start while we're here with the turtleneck. This actually happens to be a turtleneck bodysuit, which I really love and I mean, it's so soft. It's really nice. I feel like with a turtleneck bodysuit, sometimes it can maybe feel a little bit like um, shapewear, and this one really doesn't. It's thick. I mean, I'm wearing a bra underneath it. It feels like a substantial top. Often people will ask sort of, how do, how do I know if a garment is timeless? Like, what does that even mean? Like, what, what is timeless? And for me, an easy way to think about it is think about like a black turtleneck and think about black turtlenecks through the ages. So you can picture Audrey Hepburn wearing this with like a little cigarette pant and a flat in the 50s. Or you can picture Gwyneth Paltrow wearing it with a pair of leather pants and like a little kitten heel mule. Another way, I mean, you can think of Halle Berry in a turtleneck. It's just something that has been around for a long time. It's also something that sort of acts as a blank canvas that you can kind of like project your own style and your own personality onto. So for example, like let's say you are going into work, you could do this black turtleneck bodysuit with, with a little suit, you know? You can have it styled how I have it now, just with like a pair of jeans, you could do it with sneakers. It's just something that I feel like you can wear a bunch of different ways, you know, to a bunch of different occasions. That, to me, that is timeless and that is classic. I used to think I couldn't wear a turtleneck or a bodysuit because I had a larger chest, but this one's really amazing. And I also realized that because I like wearing boxier coats and jackets and blazers, it's nice to have something sort of sleek and fitted underneath. For example, this blazer I was wearing before, I'm gonna put this back on really quick. So like this is like a little longer and boxier. So if I was wearing like a baggier t-shirt, for example, I might get just a little lost in it. It might just feel like, I'm drowning in clothing, or just might even feel a little bit sloppy. So this, like, see, like, I'm not necessarily like showing off my body, but I think that it's just kind of nice to have it as like, I don't know, it's a good balance. And also, if you like to wear wide leg like, jeans or jeans that have like a more vintage feeling, I think it's nice to kind of juxtapose it with a bodysuit that is a little bit more 
fitted. So I want to talk about these jeans really quickly because I love them. They are vintage Levi's that Another Tomorrow sources and then they add a few unique details. For example, these are hemmed to kind of have like a bit more of a, a tapered leg. There's other ones that have a super wide leg. There's some with like really funky seams. If you are in New York, I recommend coming to the store to try them on because they're all totally different. So I don't know, it was just, it's fun to try on a bunch of different styles and kinds. So that's these. I am going to add this amazing blazer. I had to put this blazer at the front of the pack just because I was so excited to talk about it. First of all, the color is incredible. It is so nice. Looks amazing with black. Looks amazing with white. Ooh, how good would this look with like a white tee and white jeans? It can be like super bright and summery. Also can be like a little bit more autumnal and fall, but love this. What is really cool about this blazer is I know a lot of you like the idea of like a boxy kind of boyfriendish blazer, but if you're super petite or if you kind of like to cinch in your waist, it's kind of a hard balance. This blazer has stronger shoulders, so it kind of feels like cool. It doesn't feel like super corporate. It just feels like a cool blazer, but also it has, it's cinched in, in the waist. So it has that like relaxed feeling, but also super flattering. If you're a client of mine and you've asked for this, it's, it's very hard to find. So I'm so glad that I know about this blazer now because from my petite women, and again, like people who like to, to sort of cinch the waist, this is, this is like a, the perfect solution. You could do it with the trouser or you could do it with the trouser and like a, a sneaker would be really cute. You know, like there's a lot of different ways to do this, but I just really love this color. Sorry, I'm just blabbing, but I'm very excited. Also this like camely sort of, it's one of those colors that like, it's a non-color color. It's so classic and it kind of goes with everything, but it's a little bit more interesting than let's say like black or navy. So, so far on our list, we got turtleneck bodysuit. We got denim, we got blazers. What's next? The next thing I want to talk about is an overcoat. These are like the most incredible coats of all time. This is at a teeny bit of like a higher price point, but I really believe that this is something that you will have in your wardrobe for the rest of your life. It is so classic, so timeless, so well made, so warm, so cozy. And what I love about an overcoat, especially one like this, that's like, you know, like a little bit more, um, something that's a little more flowing, a little more oversized, is that you can put it over a blazer and it looks amazing. So I'm gonna do that right now. Oh, you don't wanna be like stuffed into No, you don't wanna be stuffed into an overcoat. And you don't wanna feel like, you know, like that sort of restricted feeling. You really do not want that. I like the idea of an overcoat that you can wear over a blazer. And I kind of call it like my indoor and my outdoor coat. So this is kind of the coat that I'm wearing when I'm outside, blah, blah, blah. So cute. I also love this tie. When you get in some place, like let's say you're meeting some, someone for drinks or going to work, then you take this off and you're still wearing like an indoor coat. You know, it just looks, it looks really good. And like I said, it's like, it has that oversized feeling that allows you to put a lot of things underneath it. However, it doesn't feel like too oversized where I'm drowning in it. There's still like, it's just very well um, designed, I think. I wish you guys could feel, it just feels so nice. If you could describe the feeling of it on your fingertips. I know it's hard, but. Substantial. Try like a feeling. Oh, a feeling. Rich. <laughs> Luxury. <laughs> Maybe this is me, but let me know if you agree. This color, first of all, always makes me feel rich, and so does a jacket like this. I don't know why. Maybe it's like a Carolyn Bissett Kennedy type of thing. Also, it doesn't have to be expensive. Like, it could be an H&M coat like this, and I feel rich when I put it on. It can be a, a pair of sweatpants that are this color. <laughs> I still feel rich. It's just like, there's something about it. I don't know why. You kind of can't beat it. You know, you can like tie it in the back or you can do the tight. You can do like a little half bow. You can just do this. You can do a knot. There's a lot to do here. I want to talk about blouses and shirts. Here I have a few different blouses to talk about. I have this amazing bow blouse, which is really good. I'm going to put this on. You're going to freak out. I have this exaggerated bow blouse, which is really cool. I'll try that on. I have this high neck blouse, which is like just a little bit more romantic, but still, you know, very classic. And then I have like a more shirting style, you know, like a men's button down. I actually think that this men's button down would look really chic over this. Maybe I'll just do that. I'm using my reflection as a mirror. 
It does a similar thing to a blazer. It just kind of like adds a little something. I feel like this is a great way to wear it actually, to have something more fitted underneath and then just to sort of throw it over because then you have that casual cool feeling but it's still flattering because we have something that's a little bit closer to the body. I just wanted to throw this on while I'm wearing the turtleneck, but next I am going to put on this amazing bow blouse. You're gonna love it. Okay, I love a bow blouse. Like I said before, I use this one in a, like a beautiful bright pink color in my how to wear color video. But I love this in this ice blue. I think it's so nice. I really love it with denim because again, like I said, the non-color color, this blue feels a bit like denim. And I think with the denim, it kind of makes it feel casual, makes it feel easy. I added like a little black boot, you know, easy, casual, cool look this is really nice because you know you can wear it tied like i just have it you can wear it down which i also think actually looks pretty cool there is a button at the back so you can actually take off the bow fully cool. and i really like the combo of this like icy blue with this i think this looks really nice it's very classic. Again, like I could see somebody wearing this in 10 years. I could see somebody wearing this 10 years ago and I feel like it would still look really timeless and chic. I look like a little present. I also wanted to show you this exaggerated bow blouse just so you could see it on because it's really, it's actually, it's great because it's kind of a mix between like the menswear shirt because it's kind of like the cotton poplin, but also it has like that kind of exaggerated bow. I love this. This is something to me that feels really classic, but because it's exaggerated, it's like the volume's turned up a little bit. Okay, first I think you could do it with just like a kind of more mensy. You could wear this to a meeting, you could wear this to dinner. It's just cool. Be bold, you know what I mean? It's not too crazy trendy, but it's definitely making a statement. And I think that's cool. Like I'm picturing myself like walking up to um, like a holiday party then. I'm not invited to any, but if anybody wants to invite me to their holiday parties, this is what I will be wearing. So when I say blouse, like a blouse is an important part of the wardrobe, you don't have to have all of them. I think if you're into something that's like a bit more silky or a bit more flowy or romantic, I would go with maybe like this beautiful high neck blouse or this tie blouse because they're flowy. Or if you're into kind of a more menswear type of silhouette, I would go here. So again, you don't have to have them all, but I think having like one sort of shirt or blouse is a good wardrobe essential. Next item on my timeless wardrobe checklist is a sweater. Seems kind of basic, but I feel like it's a really good thing to have. I love a crew neck. I like a crew neck because I think it allows you to do like some good layering moments. For example, this one would be amazing with that black turtleneck underneath. Another like very small hack is I think it would also be nice with the white t-shirt because I think it's nice sometimes when you just have like a bit of the white showing. Also we didn't really talk so much about white t-shirts because I feel like it's obvious they go with everything but we love a white t-shirt and this one's really really soft. Sorry. Great. Sorry. Good All my necklaces are coming out to play. I feel like a sweater, jeans, and like a blazer or an overcoat is another look that I never regret. I can wear it all day long. Let's just see here. You throw on in the morning. Don't have to think too much about it. If I catch a glimpse of myself like in a shop window, I'm not like, oh, who is that? And why is she wearing that? I'm thinking like, who is that? <laughs> the last item on my checklist is a great pair of trousers. You could wear it with a t-shirt and sneakers, or you can wear it with a sweater and boots, just make it really cozy. I'm gonna try them on really quick. Check out these trousers. Um, I think a trouser is a great and very essential part of any wardrobe. White tee, white sneaks, this, like you can make it super cozy too. These feel so incredible. They feel like a, feel like, like sweatpants. They're, so, they're really very, very comfortable. They don't wrinkle. They'd be amazing to travel if you had like a work trip or something. They're really, really nice. Overcoat. This is another timeless classic look that I think is, it, it's just, it's great. All of these looks, I have to just do like a little disclaimer here. I'm not trying to blow your mind. I'm not trying to like show you looks that you would have never thought of. This is just kind of about like these timeless looks, these kind of like easy go-tos. You know, like I know, I'm sure all of you could like think of these looks on your own, but sometimes it's just helpful to sort of see it and to understand like what makes like a really timeless wardrobe. I feel like, when you are minimal and when you kind of go for that more minimal look, the fit and the quality is so much more important, you know, because there's like less to kind of distract. I feel like this is just like a great minimal, classic, simple look. And it's fun, yeah, it's very fun. I like the idea of dressing joyfully, like this is what makes me happy. 
you know. Just want to say a quick thank you to Another Tomorrow for letting me use their amazing pieces. I cannot think of a brand that is more in line with my thinking and also that has like the exact pieces that I would want to use to make a classic wardrobe or to, to show you what the essential pieces are. I mean, it's, it's perfect. Also, I mean, thank you for letting us use the store. It's amazing. Thank you to Vanessa. Thanks, Will. For being here. Um, thanks, Erin. I'm interested to know in the comments, are there any pieces that you feel like I didn't cover that you find that are essential to a wardrobe? Um, like and subscribe. My DMs are always open if you have questions or if you need any styling advice. Um, thank you so much for watching. I'm obsessed with another tomorrow. One stylist said like that in New York, the, your coat is your car. It's like that's the thing that you're kind of like traveling in. So a coat is so important in New York. I also think it's important other places too. Like I'm from Michigan. I drive everywhere when I'm there. I still like a nice coat because you like to like walk up to the place being cozy and like looking good and looking put together.